I want to make sure everyone understands exactly what has happened here on the Senate floor. The Republican Party has now become the party of default, the party that says America doesn't pay its debts. Our country is staring down the barrel of two totally Republican manufactured disasters, a government shutdown and a first ever default on the national debt. Senate Republicans are rejecting a proposal floated by congressional Democratic leaders to attach a debt limit fix to the annual defense policy measure, typically treated as a must-pass bill. Senior Democrats are discussing combining the two items in a single legislative vehicle in a bid to end their partisan skirmish with upper chamber Republicans who have refused to help them adjust the nation's borrowing limit. But the Senate GOP largely poured cold water on the idea Monday and warned that the move would endanger the defense bill. Here we are again negotiating the debt ceiling. Uh, when uh, President Obama w was in office, the Republicans would hold the debt ceiling hostage and they would say, Oh no, we need concessions from the Democrats. If we don't get concessions, Congress is not going to approve it. Uh, we don't care that you have a Democratic president, we have a Republican Congress. We're not going to approve, approve the debt ceiling. Concessions, we want concessions. And the Democrats would have to negotiate and give them concessions. Okay, it's okay. Now the Republicans are in charge. They have the White House and Congress. So you guess what they're uh, demanding? Concessions from Democrats. Iowa Senator and GOP leader Joni Ernst said that she's not happy about the idea, saying, I think that sets a bad precedent. It might be able to pass, but it's something we all need to talk about. And I just don't think we should be operating like this. Now, the interesting thing about this quote is that operating like this is standard practice, meaning slipping this and that into the provisions. Every single bill has hundreds, if not thousands of items slipped in. That's what makes a bill a bill. So, you know, saying things about it as if, oh, this is some sneaky tactic. This is just everyday, you know, procedure. This is just how things work. Senator James Lankford of Oklahoma went on to add, we've been pretty clear that we're not actually going to be a part of actually helping them with adding trillions of additional debt that we had no part of. That's been a pretty clear statement from the beginning of this, and it should continue to be that. But let's see what types of things Republicans say about the debt ceiling when they're in power. Uh, look, the debt ceiling and the CR are the same thing. There is no such thing as a debt ceiling in this country because it's never been not increased. And that's why we're $17 trillion in debt. And I would dispel the rumor that is going around that you hear on every newscast that if we don't raise the debt ceiling, we will default on our debt. We yep. won't. We'll continue to pay our, our interest, we'll continue to uh, redeem bonds, and we'll issue new bonds to replace those. So that uh, it's not entirely accurate. Now, when I saw that yesterday, I thought Tom Coburn had been smoking something or just off message. I don't know what the hell he was talking about. Of course, there's a debt ceiling. And of course, you can't pay your bills if you don't have any money. Now, as we all know by now, or at least we all should know by now, you know, the Republicans doing everything they can to stop the debt ceiling from being suspended or raised is just a ploy. You know, any opportunity that they have to ensure that Democrats can't move forward, they're going to take it because ultimately that's going to give them ammo for the coming elections. You know, and just to think, you know, let's say that the debt ceiling wasn't raised and all the catastrophe that would come from that. They could just point their fingers at the Democrats and be like, well, they're the ones in office, they're the ones in power. They kept trying to do everything so unfair. They didn't want to work with us. They just didn't want to work with us. <laughs> but as we saw in, in, in those other videos, uh, it's just a thing that goes back and forth because when they're in power, it doesn't matter who cares you know and it's not just uh, with the debt ceiling it's with, with all types of issues you know whatever they can you know whether it be blocking Merrick Garland hearings anything possible to, to, to you know play dirty which unfortunately is something that the Democrats still do not know how to do in the environment that we live in but as we talk about often as well they're kind of paid to suck so you know we can't really expect too much of anything else now this measure uh, the defense bill, as well as raising the debt ceiling, as we talked about, they're looking to put it into uh, one combined bill. Now, that's likely not to happen because you need at least 10 GOP votes uh, to get that through, um, you know, no matter how you look at it, whether they're together or separate. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. I doubt that they're not going to raise the ceiling, but if it doesn't happen, also won't be surprised. So we'll keep our eyes on it.